Go and write down the things which I told you earlier. I will come back at dawn. And so to myself, I thought that a great prophet, with such a unique personality as this, would definitely have to come from a very noble family line. What I mean by noble is, for him to almost definitely have the pious lineage of the prophets, not the lineage of the kings. So the Messiah must be a descendant of the Jewish prophets. You see, this is what it means. Well, this is the first time I'm hearing such a thing about the Messiah, I must tell you. Why should the future messenger come from the previous prophets, though? The reason is that the prophets act as God's mediators to bestow God's blessings on Earth. This means that they all form one long chain that goes back to the origin of all things. He will mark a turning point for the universe. As you must know, it is the word of God's final messenger that we are all waiting for. And as the last prophet on Earth, he will be the most important. So you're telling me that this Messiah is a descendant of the prophet David? <laughs> Do you see how simple it is? We should have just gone straight to David's house instead of trying to work it out. All of these terribly tiresome and complicated calculations, right? <laughs> this is something I'm afraid most people have failed to realize. Are there many people of David's descendant here in Judea? No, there aren't many. Well, is there perhaps a pregnant woman among them? I don't know. How should I know about that? Well then, my friend, have you heard of any woman living in Jerusalem who may possess the noble characteristics of a prophet's mother? Is there a woman living there who is unique among the other women? A woman who is quite different from the women around her in any way? Or a woman from whom the people have seen miracles? Or who the people believe possess powers? It's getting late. We're all tired. We better get some rest now. You know who she is then? No, I know nothing of such a person. You not only know who she is, but you're also concerned for her well-being. You're worried that she might be found out, am I right? How do you... Why do you say such a thing? Your face. Friend. Love for someone else. Lights up a person's face like nothing else can do. I am a Roman. I worship my own gods. I don't understand your monotheistic beliefs. I must leave now, sir. Come and sit a while longer, Pericles. Please come sit down. Have a seat. I had a strange dream last night. There was a man dressed head to foot like a king. And the ground under this king as he walked was the deep dark color of crimson. It was symbolic of the blood of the innocent people who had been slain by that great king. I may not receive any direct orders from Herod, but I consider him the lawful king and commander of the land of Judea. My friend Pericles, we are simply Persian scientists. We're not concerned about politics. Not in this foreign land. These things are none of our concern. And frankly, not our business, so don't worry about that. But if we simply discuss our dreams, none of us will be held accountable for anything we say. So, what do you say, Pericles? If we discuss our dreams, I see no problem. Well, this king in my dream, then, seemed to be pretending 
that he was waiting to see the sun. But as soon as he set eyes on it, he pulled out his bow and arrow and directed his aim at that sun. The king's agents are the bow and the arrow in the king's hands. That's too bad. I don't want to be used as a tool by a king who targets the sun. We must stop our search and return home at once. It really is such a shame that we must stop when we've come so far. Yes, but even though we've come a long way, it is better this way. My only wish was to see him just once. Oh, what a pity. We should all return to Jerusalem together. What a shame. We have lost a great opportunity here. We shall tell Herod that we didn't find the Christ. It is the truth, and everything will then be finished. Your people, the Romans, believe in the gods of Olympus. Is that right? I used to not believe in anything, but I am a Roman and a follower of our beliefs and our gods. So why do you do this? I'm indebted to them, because they did me and my wife a great service. My daughter was ill. Very strange, isn't it? <laughs> that a Roman officer <laughs> and three Persian foreigners <sighs> are the ones who adore this mother and child more, it seems, than anyone else in the entire world. We yearn to see them while their own people have Abandoned them, forgotten them, and are oblivious to their very existence. Very strange. Quite a lot of people have been following this comet, Issachar and Nathan. Do you think it may be related to Mary's... disappearance? The Persian scientists say this star is the star of the coming Messiah. For some reason I have a feeling of dread. Sweet, pure, and holy Mary. Dear God, please have mercy on your most humble servant. Where did you hide her? Don't you think he was going too far by claiming to be a prophet hearing the voice of Jehovah? 
You might as well just tell us what new scandal has forced you to hide her this time. What's happened to Mary? Why is she ill? Why was she holding her stomach? When she left the temple, can you explain it? Why are Joseph and Zachariah searching everywhere for her? Tell us, Elizabeth, why? Why is she in pain? And why has there been no news of her? Where is Mary now? Mary's gone. On a journey, if you must know. A journey? What's her destination? Where is she gone in secret? Where? Mary left because she was tired and sick of people like you. What do you people want from us? Why do you keep tormenting us? <laughs> Just how long do you and your lying husband think you can keep hiding that little witch, Elizabeth? We will eventually find her, and then we will reveal the sin she's trying to hide from everyone. What are you talking about? What sin? <gasps> what are they trying to find? Oh, dear God, have mercy. Please have mercy on that lonely, innocent girl. Why, hello, Enoch. Hello, Elias. Have you brought fresh dates? Dirty fake prophet.
wish I were dead now. I wish that everyone could just forget about me. I wish no one ever knew the name Mary and could just forget about who I am. has been born. Mary. Mary. Look up, Mary. Your God sends his congratulations to you. Why are you sad? Are you hungry? Are you thirsty? Look at the ground under your feet. God has provided you with a spring flowing with water. You see, your God has not forgotten you in your needs, Mary. Drink from the spring and quench your thirst.
But if this is what my God wants, I will obey him. I will obey his command, whatever it may be. When you return to the city, do not speak to anyone, Mary. Make the people understand you're obeying your God's command and are fasting in silence. God willing, your child will take care of everything. Come. Come and see for yourselves, Excellencies. It happened early this morning. One of the servants told me he heard a deafening sound. Afrinim, make sure he doesn't speak about this event anywhere else. It's very strange. First there was the comet burning brightly in the sky, and now this large crack in the temple wall. Not a single person outside the temple should be informed about this event. And we should have this wall repaired as soon as possible. I don't exactly know what. I just know that the universe is in disarray. This extraordinary phenomenon has made the whole world tremble. I don't know much more than this. Elizabeth, take John with you and go to another town. Go to Bethlehem or Nazareth. Joseph, be prepared. As soon as we find Mary, you must take her to a faraway place. I'm ready. What about you? What will you do, Zachariah? I'll remain here, either in Jerusalem or in Galilee. I might be able to distract our foes by letting them direct their anger towards me. That way, they won't be able to harm you or Mary. No, no. We will stay as well. We can't just leave you alone. You must think of your son, John. God has planned an important future for him, Elizabeth. My life is about to end and I'm no longer interested in this world. I just want my mind to be at rest about you and your son. Come, Joseph. Farewell, Zachariah. Look over there. Who is that? Where? A woman and child, I think. Is it Mary? Yes, I think it is. But she's got a child with her. She's carrying a child? Yes. Joshua, Ariel, I want you to go and inform Issachar. Tell him Mary is heading towards the town with a child in her arms. Inform the people as well. Hurry up! Get going! should all come. Oh, Hurry, come quickly. The rabbis have ordered it. The rabbis have ordered it. The women must come. What do you think it is now? Yeah. It must be important. Issachar, where are you? Issachar! Listen! Mary is on her way here with her child. Go and inform all the rabbis. Wonderful, Issachar. We must finish everything today. Here come the Sadducees. 
Is what we've heard true? It is. So are you all with us? We will stand united to end corruption and sedition among the Jews. The Sadducees are all with you. Let's go then. What do you think that Mary's done with Oh, so they found her. Is she here? Where is she? What's going on here? Are they waiting for someone? I do not know. Yes! Is that her? Hey, look, is that Mary? Is Mary? Is that Mary? Is that Mary? Silence! You must be patient! Go back! Go back! Go back a bit further! Allow Mary to come! We have prepared ourselves to execute God's law, and this we shall do! It's Mary! St. Mary has finally come back, we see. But this time, she's not alone. Is this your child, then? Look yeah. at her. All those weeks. She's, she's, look at she's her. not even married. Where is that child from? She's possibly been pregnant. Hmm. So she freely admits that this child is her own. Oh, my goodness. No! No! Mary, why did you do such a thing? We all looked up to you so much, Mary. You're a true disgrace, Mary. Wait till Zachariah finds out. Oh, Mary, you've committed a filthy and despicable act, you know that? You are a sinner, Mary! A sinner! Is this really Mary? How is it possible? It's not hard to believe, Hillel. Didn't I warn you that she's full of deception? She deceived everyone by feigning innocence. She pretended to be virtuous. But what do we see here? Mary holding a baby in her arms. The result of her sin. Woe to the Jews! Shame on you! Mary, what's going on? Where were you? Mary, the daughter of Prophet Imram. But he wasn't a bad man. Nor was your mother a prostitute. So then what is this disgrace? We must burn this evil sinner. This is the punishment given to these sinful daughters who've despicably defiled the temple. Burn the evil sinner! Yeah, burn, yes, burn, 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 burn her! The blasphemer! Burn her! Speak. Defend yourself. Speak, you say. But she's conveniently chosen to fast in silence. 
If anyone else were in her place, they'd do the same. Don't yes. worry, Mary. Burn her. will be all right. He's That's he's enough, Zachariah. You've said enough. What will they do with that sweet, innocent girl? If you had stopped her in the first place from deceiving the people with her evil sorceress magic, none of this would have happened. May God disgrace you all. May God disgrace you all for this. For making such baseless accusations against the purest lady who ever lived. No, may God disgrace you for causing the scandal, Zachariah, right here in the Holy Temple. Why don't you say anything, Hillel? You're involved in this scandal as well, aren't you? What do you all say? Yes! yes. 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 Herod is very ill. If Mary manages to escape here, take her out of town. The king's guards are everywhere. Speak now! Speak now! It's time to break your fast! Who's commanded you to fast? Why don't you speak to save yourself? God would not accept your fast. What is this about? What is this? Why are you gesturing? <laughs> you want me to ask him? Is this a joke or something? What kind of a game is this? She wants us to speak to this child she's holding. <laughs> Mary, do you take us all here for fools? Her sins have made her lose her mind. How could we be expected to speak to a newborn baby? <laughs> do you see what's happening here, everyone? She's asking us to speak to her newborn baby in her arms. What are we waiting for? Everyone, come forth and speak to this child. Come now, Hillel. And you, Zedekiah. And Jeroboam, too. And Nathan. <laughs> All the grand rabbis. Jewish scholars. Wise men of the city. Why don't you respond to this request? It would sure take a lot of courage to do so, wouldn't it? <laughs> Don't you agree? I'm prepared to step forward here. That's right. As your representative, I am willing to speak to him in front of all these people who are present here now. <laughs> who are you, my dear child? Please introduce yourself to this crowd, if you would be so kind. And at that if you are ready. very moment, the child began to speak. In his mother's arms, he said to the people gathered, I am Jesus Christ. I am God's servant. He has given me the scripture and made me to be a prophet. The blessings of God are with me whithersoever I will go. He has commanded me to worship him and to give alms, and he has ordered me to be affectionate toward my chaste mother. He has made me neither arrogant nor wicked. Peace be upon me. And glorious is the day I was born. The day that I will die. And the day that I will be raised up to live once more.
And so, Mary and her child were made a miracle and a sign for all mankind for all time.